Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Chrono Cross! Today, we're in a new game plus, and now that we've done that, this door should open for me! There we go. Got it. Yeah, you can't open this door in a regular new game. You can only do it in a new game plus. Sure, why not? Oh, okay, yeah, nice Chrono Trigger reference there. Uh, wants us to make laps around the room. It's a little easier than Chrono Trigger. Because, as you just heard, you get a little sound indicating that you've successfully completed a lap. And if you screw up a lap, you can still just keep going. You know, it's not like it's going to, uh, you know, screw you up the rest of the way. So, that's pretty nice. Like the reference is, uh, what's his name? Specchio here. What do you mean, battle away? Hey, those guys look familiar. Have I seen them before? What do you mean we're in competence? We killed the freaking dragon god. Oh, they're the mystics, I guess. Mystic knights. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's Ozzy, Flea, and Slash! So let's get him. This battle can be a little hard if you don't know what you're doing. I would recommend, uh, what is it? Taking out Ozzy first. He has an ability that I will not show you called Max Defense. It makes them invulnerable for a while, so there you are. Let's see if I can get in a few hits on Ozzy there. Huh, they're not doing anything. That's weird. Usually they uh, get to jump on me pretty good, but uh, apparently not today. But I do want to hold out for a uh, Purify. You'll see why soon enough. Or maybe you won't see why. This is going unusually well for me. Guys, uh, Flea, are you, are you going to bother attacking me so I can show the viewers how annoying you are? And if I call Flea a she, I apologize, viewers. I, as you no doubt know already, I have problems with gender confusion. There we go. Okay, so yeah, that ability confused Fargo. Fortunately, I have... Uh, what is that thing called? I have, uh, well, Purify. I also have Red Brooches equipped on Surge and Glenn. If I had a third one, I would give it to... Far I, yeah, if I had a third one, I would give it to Fargo. But, well, I don't. So, uh, let's see. One more. There we go. Nuts. And, of course, Slash is blue elemental. Funny how these guys are all colored in the colors of the elements which they didn't have in the first game, but, well, there you go. Let's get strength and going on Surge there. I'd get Eagle Eye going on him, but, well, I had to use... I was saving my element power for... What was that one? The Purify there, so... Oh, well. No worries. Surge should be able to take out Ozzy now before he can cast Max Defense. Hopefully he can do that. Uh, yeah. One, two... Now, don't interrupt me. There we go. Almost got him. A couple more shots ought to do. If I can ever get another turn, that is, before he can cast max defense. Now, I've got plates equipped on everyone. Sim or not plates. I have prison mails equipped on everyone. So that way, I can survive. Uh, what is it? There we go. Yeah, let's use flying arrow. Why not? I got plate, or er, prison mails equipped. Yeah, you see you got uh, Master Mune there instead of a uh, larger apparition of Surge behind him. That's because I've got the Master Moon. So, there you go. Alright, we got him. Uh, yeah, let's have Fargo. Let's go after Flea for a little bit, but I do want to take out Slash next, actually. But yeah, like I was saying, I like having the prison mails equipped instead of the opposite colored plates from our innate element, simply because uh, these guys really don't cast that stuff very often that I'm really worried about. 
I mean, Flea has a, a, a few attacks that are you know, a little annoying, but nothing I really can't handle, or Fargo can't, anyway. Okay, we got that ready to go. Let's go Redfield. There we go. My element setup is the same as it was against the uh, Time Devourer, or the, the, well, the Dragon God Time Devourer, essentially, so. So I didn't really change too much there, didn't really need to. Extra! Well, that's okay. It's only 3,700 damage. I was expecting a little more out of you, Surge. Let's see if I can finish off Flea in a similarly spectacular fashion. Of course, that would require me to not die. Ow! Yeah, I think it's time for a cure-all. What do you say, Fargo? There we go. Have I ever used this in the LP? I think I might have used it a couple times, but... Eh. Okay, there we go. Now what I want to do is, uh... I want Fargo to finish off Flea if I can. Okay, well, that works too. Actually, that helps out quite a bit. Let's see, uh, defend once. There we go. Go, Fargo! Ah, oh, come on! Can't you even hit anything? Let's try that one again. I just want Fargo to finish off Flea, that's all. Hit her. HIT HER! Jesus Christ, what is wrong with you, Fargo? There we go. Blue field. Now, I could finish off Flea with a summon. But, you know, I want to do it the old-fashioned way. The Invincible! Yes! That should do the jab. I am invincible! From cigars. I ass I'm assuming that Fargo is smoking a cigar there and not a cigarette. I don't know. He could be. You got me on that one, viewers. And we win some pretty rare items. I think these are the only way you can get these three. Uh, the only one that's really useful is the Dreamer's Sash. It's like the Dreamer's Scarf, except you get two element power instead of one. So that's pretty nice. Huh? Oh, we gotta play another game here, huh? Oh, okay, so he's gonna give us another hint. Less than 20 laps. So basically, we gotta circle around a certain number of times and figure out what number that number is equal to the number in his head. So let's give that a try. So essentially, what he wants us to do is guess a number between 1 and 20, whatever that is. 3, 4, 5. Now, I've never seen this number end up being less than 10. So, I mean, I suppose it could be, but I've never seen it happen. So let's get up to 10. I think that's 10 or maybe 11. There we go, 10. If he gives you this message, that means you're pretty far away from the actual number. So circle around another five times or so. Three, four. Thank goodness I got the uh, time shifter. Let's try that again. Okay, so that's 15. Ooh, we're really close. Okay, I got lucky here. Uh, sometimes he'll say, uh, you're getting closer. Shut up. Sometimes he thinks... He, he'll tell you that you're getting closer. That means you're probably like two away or so. If he says, whoa, almost there, like he just did, then that means you're one away, and there we go. We got it. So if you miss it, then just leave and then come back. Take this thing and never come back again! Get out of my head! Now, now, we get the Dreamer's Sarong. I, I don't know what a Sarong is, but... It uh, lets you start the battle with your element power full, up to eight. So that's pretty good, but pretty darn useless considering that we're, by the time you get it, you're in a new game plus anyway. So that's all for this bonus episode of Let's Play Chrono Cross. I hope you've enjoyed it. I got plans for one more bonus episode, and then I think I'll be taking a break. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.